Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrum Equate Designs and I had a request from a member of my group to show them how to use the uh, ready to make project in design space that's called Valentine Coloring Card with Crayons and how to change the images on there so you can make it whatever you want. So that's what this tutorial is about. Now I am using the new Cricut Desktop Beta um, app and uh, this is in beta mode right now, but everybody has access to it and we're encouraging everybody to go ahead and download it and start using it because the browser version will be going away at some point this year. And I wanna make sure you guys have the latest version to go ahead and start working on it. This is for when you are using it on your desktop, whether it's a PC or a laptop. It's good for either a PC or if you have a Mac, okay? So that is the Cricut Design Space Beta. I have another video that talks about this change, so go and look for that. But the project today, we're going to be going over here into our Layers panel once we start a new project, and you're going to go to Projects. And up here, these are what Cricut calls their ready to make projects. So these have already been designed by Cricut designers. They've got a supply list and some other things I'll show you here in a minute. But this particular project is part one of these. So I'm gonna type in the word crayon because I know that this is a crayon project. And here it is, it's the Valentine coloring card with crayons. So I'm gonna select that now this is what they look like. They're super cute and uh, they make a five by seven card and then you use your Cricut pen. Everybody got a black Cricut pen with their Cricut. You use your Cricut pen to go ahead and draw the image onto these white cards. It's gonna cut out this cute little scallop and even the holes for you to slip a couple of crayons in. So it makes a great Valentine's project for the kids to give out at school. If you want to make them just like you see here, there's three, there's one with a whale and a dinosaur and an owl, all you have to do is hit the make it button and you will end up making these three cards. All right. Now, this is a super easy project. Everybody can do this. Um, Cricut has directions here on these ready to make projects. That's what they're called. And it tells you what do you need to have um, to be able to, to make the project. All right. It even shows you what images are part of that project, which is really nice. Now, my user wanted to know how could she customize it so that she can change what image is on the cards. So instead of hitting make it, you would go and hit customize. So I'm going to hit customize. It's going to pop up here. And now it lets you know it's the Valentine coloring card with crayons. So we know that's the file that we're working with. And these are the three that are the defaults. All right. So if you just want to cut these, you could just hit the make it button and you're good to go but we wanna change it up. So I'm gonna highlight this one. And down here in the layers panel, over here on the right, this has all been attached together on the card. So we need to detach it. So I'm gonna hit the detach button down here. And now I can highlight just the image, the little dinosaur image, okay? So we don't want the dinosaur. We're gonna change this up. I'm just gonna move the dinosaur off over here or I could delete it. And then I wanna go look for a new image. So I'm gonna hit images and see what comes up. Of course, I could do a search if I want, but right now I just wanna pick no drama llama. I thought that would be cute for a Valentine's card and llamas are super popular right now. So I'm just gonna hit and insert the no drama llama. Now, these images that are on this are draw card, draw lines, okay? It's because you're supposed to use your Cricut pens with these, and then the kids can color in the image. So if you pick a different image in design space, you need to look and see if it's a cut or a draw image. This one is a cut image, and I can tell that by coming over here to design space and looking here, and it certainly tells me that these are cut images, okay? So the llama and the little um, 
marks on here and then the no drama llama would be cut out individually pieces if you just went ahead and cut it now right it wouldn't be attached to your card and it wouldn't be something the kids could color in so how do we change that i'm going to go ahead and unlock my image here with a little lock here on it and i'm going to change it and move it so that it's going to be where i want it on my card and it fits up in that same space okay now it's a cut image how do i change it to a draw image up here in your line type in the top of your uh, design space file you have a little drop down and that little drop down gives you some choices i am using the cricut maker so it gives me a few more choices because i can use the extra maker tools if i was using a cricut explore machine over here and it and i pick cricut explore it's going to give me these three features it's going to tell me i can cut i can draw and i can score all right so we can change this to a draw image so i'm going to click draw and watch it has now changed this to a draw image which i think is cool because then that way you can take pretty much any image in design space will convert to a draw image and you can use it on these cards now there's a few more steps you need to do now right now it's all going to be drawn in black on your card because everything is black on here right and how do I know this so if I click on this image it down up here next in the line type there's a little box here and this little box lets you know what color your pen has been is going to be design space is super smart and it tells you when you go to work on your project it'll prompt you to put in whatever color pen you have selected so for this we're going to leave it black okay because we want the kids to color in the color part however i can come in here and where it says valentine your dynamite i'm going to double click on this and now it's going to highlight the little sentiment that's on here and i can change this so i'm going to change this to valentine your mine which i think goes good with the no drama llama okay so i've changed the words on here whatever you want to do i'm gonna move it back where it was but for this i want to draw this with the red pen so now i'm going to come back up here i've got it highlighted i'm going to come back up here next to the line type where it says draw and i'm going to look for the right pen so for this one i want to change it to the red okay so this is i'm going to use the fine tip red pen and it's going to write this on there and cricut will prompt me to use the red pen okay so and i can go in here i can change these down here as well and i'll go ahead and just change those to red okay so you can kind of cut you know change these up however you want and then once you get all this set we need to go in and we need to highlight the whole image again and we're going to go back over here to our layers panel and we're going to click attach because we need to make sure it's all on that card so that it will draw on there appropriately okay so you can go do the same thing with any of these other ones you could use these as is you can make any changes that you want and now you're going to be ready to send it to the mat so we can hit make it Oh, and I didn't hide I didn't hide this so let's just go over here where I did this one okay so this is what it's going to look like and you'll see that it's on your Cricut virtual mat and it's going to draw it in the black it's going to write it the valentine your mind and the to and from will be in red and the rest of this will be a cut line okay so it's going to cut out the scallop these make five by seven cards like I said so it's a pretty good size you can get uh, two of these on a page um and anyway so that's that is how you would change and customize these let me know if you have any questions these are a lot of fun to make i made them a couple of years ago and uh just a word of warning when you're looking at videos on youtube design space has changed a lot over the last few years so sometimes the videos you're watching may be older videos right now everybody's working on redoing videos like i'm doing now because cricut design space is going through another big change and that is using if you're using a pc or a mac you're going to use the cricut design space desktop app and uh, you'll be prompted to download that 
And uh, so that is what I'm showing you. So this is the latest version of Design Space. So everybody should have the same features. Everything should be in the same location that I just showed you. Anyway, let me know if there's other tutorials you want me to make for you. I'm happy to explain everything to you. Um, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of tutorials. And also, if you are looking for an inspiration group, come join us in my Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group, where we have a lot of fun learning and sharing about Design Space. Hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting!